Assalamualaikum everyone, my name is Miska Jahan, I'm a modest fashion expert and designer. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to iron your hijabs. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is because knowing how to iron your hijabs is pretty vital if you want to make sure that your scarves last as long as possible and you don't want to end up melting or burning them in the process. I have in front of me four different types of scarf materials and we're going to be talking about why the material affects what type of heat setting you want to set your iron to and we're going to get into all of that so we're going to get ourselves educated and more knowledgeable about how to take care of our scarves and make sure that they're smooth they're ironed and that they last as long as possible so yes before we even talk about the iron or the scarves i just want to mention that it is ideal to use distilled water whenever you fill up your iron with water if you use tap water it tends to build like this like white residue and it just kind of re leaves like this like white particles on your scarf and it just it's annoying to get rid of and sometimes it can end up ruining materials just depending on the type of material so in order to prevent that it's better to use distilled water or if you don't want to iron at all make sure to check out my video i posted this video quite a while back but i show you guys how to steam your hijabs it's a very useful tool to have you don't actually have to apply heat to your scarf and it's like a really quick way to make sure that your scarf is smooth and wrinkle free so check it out all right, so now that we've got that covered, we're gonna be talking about the iron. So you'll notice on your iron that it has like a little dial knob that you can move back and forth. It allows you to choose what heat setting you wanna put your iron on. And this information is important because again, you don't wanna burn or melt your scarf when you're trying to iron it. So I'm gonna give you a close up image of my iron. And you'll notice that on the highest settings, materials such as cotton or linen work best. Whereas on the medium setting, it is better for more sensitive materials such as wool or silk. And on the lower setting, it is best for synthetic materials. Alright, so now that we've covered the uh, iron settings, we're going to be talking about the different types of materials. And we're just going to simplify it by saying that there's three types, okay? There's synthetic materials, and then there's natural materials, and then there's a combination of both. So first we're gonna talk about synthetic materials. And the way that you'll know what your hijab is made of is by looking at the tag that's uh, attached to your scarf whenever you purchase it. A lot of times the fabric composition will be on the hang tag, or it'll be like on a little tag that's like woven into your scarf. So this one is made of polyester. It is a satin polyester material. It's synthetic, it is more susceptible to heat. So you wanna make sure that you set your iron to synthetic level and use a low heat setting. Next up, we have viscose. So viscose is pretty identifiable, even from afar. This is an example of a 100% viscose hijab and they tend to be somewhat see-through, like you would have to like fold it over in order to get full coverage with this type of hijab material just depending on the material you buy. But yeah, viscose and rayon are pretty much in the same category because they're both made of the pulp of wood cellulose fibers. So yeah, they used to be trees. With viscose and rayon, I would say that you would treat it almost the same way as you would treat like wool or silk with a heat setting, like a medium heat setting would be best because rayon and viscose, like they're not super sensitive to heat, but like you don't want to apply too much because it will get burnt in the process. Okay, so next up we're going to be talking about another natural material. It is from my uh, first hijab collection. It comes in a little dust bag and I just wanted to share that with you guys. My first collection is made of 100% silk. This is a natural material. It is a very luxurious natural material with silk just because it tends to be on the more pricey side and it is somewhat sensitive. You want to be careful with it and you want to make sure that you set it to the proper setting on the iron. If you remember, there was actually a silk setting on my iron. I would say that this would be more to like uh, a medium setting and if you're if you want to be cautious like if you're working with a hijab that you just don't want to ruin it's your favorite hijab or you have no idea what material it's made of you can always use like a press cloth in order to iron it uh, with this hijab with my hijabs um, in particular like i usually have no problem 
Um, if I just set it to like a medium setting, the one that is labeled on my iron, everything works out fine. I've tested it. But if you don't know what your scarf is made of, it's always better to be on the safe side and just apply a cloth. Like a press cloth can be made of like cotton. Like if you have like a t-shirt, you can use like a 100% cotton t-shirt. Apply that over your scarf and then just iron on top. That is one good idea. And yeah, just make sure that you don't apply too high of a heat setting, uh, especially if you don't know what it is. You just want to test it out first. You want to just test it out in like a little small corner just to make sure that um, it's not like a synthetic material because even through cotton you could still melt the scarf if it was if the setting was high enough but with silk and viscose rayon um, they work best with like medium settings all right so last but not least we're gonna be talking about combination hijabs hijabs that are made with both uh, synthetic and natural fibers this is a great example right here I have this jersey scarf so jersey just refers to like the way the scarf is woven, I'm not going to get into that today, but a lot of times you'll see hijabs that are made with a combination of both uh, synthetic and natural materials. And with these type of hijabs, like it just depends on what the percentage is. If you find that like, okay with this hijab right here, I'm guessing it's going to be like 95% cotton and then 5% polyester, that's just a guess. So because of that, I would probably set it on like a medium setting and that should be good enough just to be on the safe side. And then if you're working with something that's more, that had like a higher percentage of synthetic and a little bit less natural material, like let's say this was 90% lycra and 10% cotton, then with that I would want to make sure that I was using probably like one of the lower heat settings make sure that I didn't end up melting the scarf. So with combination, you do have to know what the balance is of natural versus synthetic, and then you just work with it accordingly. So yeah, so that all being said, um, if you don't know what your scarf is made of, you can always use a press cloth. It's always better to test with lower heat. In my opinion, it is always better to use a steamer, but if you don't have a steamer, I mean, you can still use your iron. And technically you could even use your iron as a steamer if you just like hover your iron away from your scarf and you hang it somewhere just like push the little steam button and make sure that your iron is filled with water and that it's on a high enough setting to release steam and other than that that is pretty much gonna sum up this video hopefully this was educational and that it gave you some sort of idea on how to iron your scarves to make sure you take good care of them and that they last as long as possible and if you learned something or if you're just having a good time watching this video please feel free to select that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And yes, that is the end of this video. So I will see you guys next time and I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.